In this video, I'll be going over the functionality of the image ribbon. So right here next to the acquire uh, ribbon up here at the top. Now, if you're working with Image Studio Lite, you will not see the acquire ribbon. And the first one will be the image. So if I click on the image ribbon, we will see the set of buttons that come up right here. Now you can use the zoom right here. Uh, you can set a specific zoom factor if you would like. Or if you have the mouse over the image, you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom in and out uh, as needed. Uh, we do have some tools right here for uh, helping you along for doing your image adjustment. If you click on the Choose button right here, uh, I can choose the 700 channel. And then this will give me six different auto options uh, for the image adjustment. Now, just so that you know, uh, no matter what I do to the image as far as adjusting the brightness and contrast or uh, adjusting these right here, this has no effect whatsoever on the quantification values. So uh, if I just choose one of these right here, click that, and then it will also take me into uh, the adjust. And this is done automatically. Uh, if you don't want that, I'll show you uh, in just a moment how to turn this off. Uh, but from here, uh, I can use these. Uh, I can adjust the overall signal to make, uh, make it a little brighter. And this is just fine tuning the image. Uh, and then I can go and adjust the background levels as well. And I'll show you in just a moment how to adjust these uh, manually also. And then I can adjust the midtones. Now the midtones is, is uh, what we call the K value. And you'll see a uh, tooltip will pop up right here discussing that a little bit more. But I'll, I'll discuss that here in just a moment. And then I can also do that for the 800 channel as well if I want to. Now, you will, uh, if you have used one of our instruments to do uh, an image acquisition, uh, the, the choose and adjust uh, pop up automatically following image acquisition. If you do not want those to open up automatically, if you click on the options for the display group right here, this, it's a little greater than sign. And if you click on that, you can turn off having those windows pop up automatically uh, following the acquisition. But it's completely up to you whether you want to have those uh, show up automatically or not. Uh, you can view uh, just a single image, or you can view all of your images in the table in a set like this. And you can go anywhere from one to five across right here. And these are all of the images that are in uh, your images table right here. Uh, but I'm going to go back to viewing just single channel or single mode right here. You can also do a slideshow if you want the images to scroll through right here. Uh, you can uh, have you can play a slideshow of those if you want to, which is perfectly fine. Uh, now here under the create group, these actually create new image files. And if you notice these image ID numbers right here, so this is number 318 with an underscore of 01. That 01 means that it was the original image uh, from the instrument. But if I use this create group right here, this will generate new image files. And so the next one will be listed as 318 underscore 02. And if you were to continue to make uh, more image files using this create right here, it would be 03, 04, and so forth. So if I want to, I can just create a straight copy of the image uh, with duplicate. If the image was acquired in the wrong orientation, you can do a flip or rotate, and it gives you all eight options right here. And you can just click on one, and it will create the new file. Uh, flip or rotate. If you want to do the alignments here, you can uh, make those adjustments just like that. Now, there is a warning on here that saying that it may affect quantification results. And so really what you want to use this for is uh, just for adjusting the image uh, for export is really all you want to do. You do not want to quantify an image uh, that has that you've done a free rotation on. And the same holds true for this reduced noise. If you want to do noise removal, smoothing, sharpening, uh, local min, local max, uh, again, this is just for uh, cleaning up an image for export. You do not want to use this if you're going to be quantifying any of the bands on this blot. 
Um, align channels. If you have done a high resolution two color scan, um, sometimes the, the images will not be aligned on top of each other just perfectly. And so what you can do is use that to um, line those up together. Now this is just strictly for a two color image and it would really only designed for doing high resolution such as uh, micro arrays or if you're doing say like a two color tissue section um, where you need that very high precision you can use that but normally for western blots or plate assays um, or gels or anything like that this will not be uh, something that you would use uh, if you have scanned too large of an area you can crop out a certain area and so when you click on the crop you can set the area that you want to crop out and as soon as you um, press enter you have a new image file that is just that area right there uh, the next group right here is called the print and export area now if I click on the apply button you may or may not see these uh, little hash marks right here but if I click on a modify you will see that a little more clearly and if I set that right there, um, now you see these hash marks right here. But if you don't notice those hash marks, and if they are set to an area smaller uh, than the entire image, uh, when you go to export your image, this is the area, only what is within here is what will be used for the export. So let me just show you that real quickly. And so you will notice that that is the only area that is included for the export. So if you ever run into a situation where you are trying to export an image and you're not getting the entire image, that is because you have set the print and export area to be too small. But if you turn that off, when you do the export, you will get the entire image right there. Uh, you can make a copy of the image you can copy this to your clipboard so if you want to paste this into say an email or um, a document of some kind you can either make a copy of the entire image to your clipboard or if you just want a certain region you can click and drag and now this area will be copied to your clipboard now as far as image adjustment goes what you want to do or if you're going to be doing it manually uh, you come over here to the display and you will see the lookup tables uh, we have two different methods for adjusting uh, the appearance of the image uh, you can use the brightness and contrast to make adjustments and if you adjust the brightness right there and you can do the the contrast and make adjustments with that and you can do the same thing uh, for the 800 channel uh, you can choose the colors and which images are displayed. Now, this may be different if you are using, say, the Odyssey FC. You will also have the options of the Kimi channel or the 600 channel. Uh, if you're using the C-digit, it will just be the Kimi channel. Or if you have imported an image, uh, you may see different options here. But you can uh, change the colors. So you can go grayscale. You can do blue. You have pseudo color options. Um, you can go back to two color. You can turn off one of the wavelengths if you want. And you can even do, uh, if you have a two color image, you can also display them in grayscale as well. Uh, or even if you want to uh, have a white on black background, you can also include that uh, with uh, overlay with a, um, a color image as well. Uh, now, if you want, if you're more familiar with uh, image processing uh, software, we also have the option of what we call curves. And with the curves, you will now see histograms uh, appear instead of the brightness and contrast sliders. And with these, you can address, adjust the overall uh, sensitivity or the overall uh, brightness uh, using this top setting right here. You can set your background threshold by adjusting that the lower slider right here and then we also have this option in the middle uh, and this is called the k value and the k value is analogous to gamma correction that you might see in, in other types of software uh, and the the biggest difference between k value and gamma correction is that a k value of zero which is what we have set right here is the same as a gamma of one so 
if you want your pixels to be displayed on the screen in a linear manner, you will want to uh, leave that K value set at zero. And uh, you have the same adjustments here on the 800 channel as well. Now, a little later on, uh, once you have analyzed your image, uh, you will there will be features. So if you have drawn bands or if you have done some other types of analysis on here, those features will be on the screen. And if you want to, you can use this uh, features button to toggle that off and on. So if you want to hide the features uh, for doing the image export, you just simply click on that and the features will be hidden at that point in time. Uh, you can also link images together. So if you have images that have been collected using the same settings, so say on the Perl imager, uh, or if you have um, images that have been generated on one of our scanning systems using the same intensity settings, or on the FC using the same integration times, you can link certain images together to do comparisons. And the way that you do that is highlight the group of images that you want to link together and you want you have to apply a filter to them and i will be discussing this more uh, when uh, in the table video uh, that you will also be able to find on our website but just very quickly what you can do is if i click on the filter right here so i have these images highlighted and if i click on the filter i can do a selection filter and now all of those have been linked together now if i click the link right here now all of the images that are in this table right here have the same um, display values uh, applied and if i make an adjustment to one of the images it uh, will adjust all of the images uh, to the same display values as you can see right here so if i just if i adjust it for one it, it adjust it for all of them. Thank you.